<laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'm curious if you have a particular approach towards uh, lowering criminal uh, recidivism rates while still ensuring justice is uncertain. Well, I know that in my court, I try to look at the individual. Um, if you're found guilty, that's when we go to a sentencing phase. And I try to figure out what this person needs, you know, what we can do to help this person. Because a lot of times, if you give them the resources, get them in a good program, get them a mentor. I'm, I'm good for trying to get someone a mentor. Um, our basic skills, they can really go and just describe. You know, we have such good programs in Philadelphia. Um, and then I also have just different people in the community that I can go to. I'll give you an example. I have, you know, this one young guy. Got him, like, soon as he became an adult. And he just, he just gave up on himself. He didn't think that he was worthy of anything. You know, he saw his best friend get killed, and he just hadn't been right since. You know, his parents had, you know, passed away when he was younger, so he just felt like he didn't have anybody, and life wasn't worth living. And I had to get off the bench one time, because I'm like talking to him, I'm about to cry. I was like, I can't see all of this in you, and you see none of it. You know, so every time he comes in, I just try to pour into him. And then I saw him, and he was like, just crying. He was like, I'm ready now. He's like, I finally believe you. And I talked to, you know, someone at American Airlines. Cause I was like, you know, sometimes people just need good jobs with benefits, mm -hmm. you know, so that they can take care of themselves. He has a kid. Like, people just need these things. And a lot of times that's going to stop the crime right there because they do what they have to do to survive. Mm -hmm. But I fashion it according to the person and what I think I can do. Mm -hmm.